Hey, old brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing? My true brothers and sisters. Ave Satanas. Ave Lucifera. Ave Lord Belial. Ave Lord Leviathan. Ave beautiful Queen Loth. Ave King Asmodeus. Ave King Asmode. Ave King A Ave Lord Abaddon. Ave the great Queen Lilith. Hail beautiful Lilith. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention, this is uh, another new one. Uh, the, uh, as the weather is getting nicer, well, it's nice here this week. It's cold in the nighttime, but during the daytime, it's like today it was like six or seven degrees above zero. And tomorrow it, in the nighttime, like last night it was like minus 16. And I think it's going to be a, like the same thing tonight. And with that, that means the weather is getting nicer. And with that, that means more outdoors. You're not barred in your house pretty much a lot, right? Because of the weather. Because of the cold, really, really cold temperatures and the bad weather. And with that, we, uh, the ones that are true to Father Satan and King Lucifer and Lord Belial, his true children, with that we can uh, do rituals outdoors, hopefully. Or start to do some rituals outdoors. If, if, if we're in an area that we can do them without people interrupting, without people being nosy, which is pretty hard to do nowadays, because, you know, people are just naturally nosy. And with that, they, uh, yeah, with the rituals outdoors, I've done rituals outdoors before. A lot, actually. And I love doing them outdoors because you feel closer to you feel closer to nature, which in fact I think puts an extra bit of, extra bit of juice, extra bit of power into the ritual, because it's coming from the earth and you're doing it on the earth, right? You're not like in your bedroom, or you know in your room where you have your altar set up or anything like that. You're out running around doing it. You're not running around. You're outside doing it. But with that being said. You know, some a lot of us are in places that, that can't do rituals outside. Like, even if we want to. Because of, uh, you know, we just don't have any area there or space that we can do it. Because, you know, a lot of us live in apartments. You know, a lot of us probably just rent rooms. Uh, things of that nature. Which, you know, but... That being said, if we live anywhere close to a park or something like that, we can do rituals in the park. Like, but you still really can't do that without pe people being nosy and wondering what the fuck you're doing. And then if you see, then, and then if you uh, if you lady have your little fire going, like in your cauldron or, or whatever, or fire or make a little fire pit, you can't really do that because then you have people calling the fucking cops on you and calling the fucking fire department on you. Over a little tiny fire that you have in a fire pit. That you're doing a ritual with. And they'll probably tell you to doubt it when they come. Just to be pricks. It's usually the way it works. Or I know that's the way it works here in Ontario. They make it seem make it seem like it's... Dan they make it seem like Father Satan has land... Is, you know? Like Father Satan taking over the world. Which he already... He don't have to take over the world. He already owns it. He's owned it for many, many, many years. Him, King Lucifer, Lord Belial... Lord Leviathan, Queen Lilith owns the night, Queen Lilith runs the night, anything that goes on in the night has to, anything spiritual, satanically, demonically, anything that goes on in the night, Queen Lilith is in, in full 100% full control of her, because she rules the night. That's why, that's why the owl is known as her symbol. The owl is known as her symbol, that's for sure. I know that one 100%. And with that being said, the uh, that's why I have uh, I have one 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 owl, not not real owl, live owl, but an ornament of an owl stuffed an ornament of an owl in my window, and I have one on top of my TV in my place. It is for Queen Lilith. That's the reason. The only reason why I got them because Queen Lilith is that's the symbol of Queen Lilith, right? Of that being said, we, uh, yeah, we have to, uh, not at Springs here, we should, the most, the ones that are true to their beliefs, okay, 
And the ones that can get out to parks, that can get in parks or into wooded areas, or even in your backyard for that matter, like even in your backyard, even if, unless you got nosy neighbors, right? Even in your backyard, you can do it or do them. No problem at all. Unless, like I said, you got really nosy neighbors, right? Then if you got really nosy neighbors, you're pretty much, you know, you could still do it, but who gives a fuck what your neighbors think, right? You can still do it. doesn't matter what your neighbors think. That's like, uh, you know, if you say you do uh, make a pack and you have to burn and you burn your, uh, you burn your pack that you made that you wrote up and, you know, your pack that you did, either whether it's either Father Satan, King Lucifer, any of the demonic, okay, any of the Father Satan's world, Father Satan's kingdom, uh, you still have to burn it. So some people got some people will can burn it inside their home, right? Some people have a big room they can burn it in or whatever, and they're in their uh, by their altar, or and all that there stuff. But some people are not so lucky as that, man. Some people don't have just just doesn't don't have a big room that just a big room to do the rituals in. They have to do them in their bedroom. And with that being said, uh, a lot of people especially new to the left-hand path that don't know, really know the difference yet, they think that, they think that if, uh, if they don't have a big ritual room and have like $5,000 worth of, worth of ritual tools, like, you know, real expensive stuff, they think that their rituals won't work. I'm sorry, but they will work, 100%. If you're being 100% honest with yourself, and if you're being 100% true with yourself, and if you're being 100% true with the demonic, with every demon and every demoness that there is, trust me, they'll work. They'll work, believe you me. Because if you're 100% pure in your heart, and 100% pure in your mind, and pure with the ritual that you want to do, it will work. That I know for sure. I know 100% fact it will work. You don't have to have a $5,000 altar set up or a $10,000 altar set up. You can, you can use a, a, little, a little cabinet, a, a dresser, a little shelf. You could use a cardboard box with just, with just a tea light if that's all you have. Father Satan, need, he is behind the intention. And knowing that you're 100% behind the intention of the ritual, whichever demon or demoness or any, whichever ancient god it is, or whichever person it is, whichever demon, sorry, it is, and if, if your intent is true in your heart and in your mind and in your soul, trust me, it will work. Now, sometimes not all rituals, sometimes all packs, sometimes all packs are not, made, are not accepted. Sometimes. I don't think that happens very often. But it does happen. And if it doesn't, if you think that it doesn't work, if you think that you made a pack and it didn't work correctly, or it wasn't accepted for some reason, you just need to tweak the, uh, something that you did in the ritual. Could be the smallest little thing. You just have to tweak it and fix it. And then Father Satan will make sure that it works. That's all you have to do, man. If you, if you if just do it over. If you're not co completely 100% sure that it worked, Give it time, no? Like, don't just do it the next night, right? Just give it time. Give it a certain amount of time, like six months, a year, or whatever, right? Whatever you decide. But just give it time, because if you don't give it time, you won't know if it worked or not. Because it's not like you do, you know, you'll know if it worked, though. Give it, give it time, and you'll know if it worked or not. That I'm 100% sure of. At least it's, you know, so just give it time. And if you're 100% true, to Father Satan and King Lucifer and Lord Belial, beautiful Queen Lilith, Lord Abaddon, Lord Pazuzu, all of the demonic, it will, it will work. You just have to be 100% honest to yourself, to King, and to all of the demonic. You have to be 100% pure of heart, and you have to be honest and truly mean what you're doing, and not and not quit it a week later because if you do that father satan knows you're going to do that or not just do a pack and then a month later oh i'm not going to be a satanist i'm not going to be a satanist no more 
I'm not going to be a traditional Satanist no more. Father Satan knows that even before you do your pack. Father Satan, and in my honest opinion, I really do believe that Father Satan even knows any person, and I don't care who the person is, I really do believe that Father Satan even knows that before we even do, before we even become Satanists, Father Satan knows that we are. And he knows if we're going to stay on the path or not. He knows if we're going to stay on the dark path. And the left-hand path and traditional Satanism, spiritual Satanism, theistic Satanism. You know, whether we do chaos, whether we do chaos magic, whether we do uh, Crowley's magic, Thelmanac, or Thelmanite or something. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Whether we do Crowley's work, rituals, Egyptian rituals, any kind of rituals. Father Satan knows for sure if we're going to stay on the path or not. He does. He really does. I'm not, you know, in my honest opinion. But anyway, with that, I'll let you go. I love every one of my true brothers and sisters. And Father Satan, hail Satan, hail Lucifer, hail Lord Belial. Hail King Asmund, hail Lord Abaddon, hail Lord Astaroth, and I'll talk to you next.